Hello friends, welcome back to Surya Chess. Today we have a guest from Scotland, uh, Mr. Scott, and uh, he's a very good chess player. And uh, hello, so, hello Scott, welcome to the uh, Surya Chess. And uh, I would uh, like to introduce you. Means, can you just uh, tell us more about how your chess journey began and all? Yeah, it's good to be here. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Scott, as you said, and uh, I uh, I picked up chess last year in uh, in lockdown with the uh, COVID, and I thought it was a good game to pick up. So I've known how to play it most of my life, you know, how the pieces move and the rules of chess. Mm -hmm. But I really got interested in it last year and I uh, yeah, hope yeah. one day to be a pretty strong player. Same, same for me as well, you know, means I also started playing during last year pandemic only and uh, now I started the channel so that uh, everyone can learn and uh, start playing it as well. So uh, let's quickly have a match. I'll I'll, I'll share you the uh, challenge invite, and uh, you will receive it. Uh, okay, so it's uh, three plus two. Uh, could you send it again? It just yeah, it yeah. It, it was one plus one uh, accidentally sent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, did you receive it? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'm in the game right now. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, all the best. I'll I'll stop. Uh, I'll mute myself on the Zoom then. Yeah. Okay. All the best. Good luck. Thank you. The game has begun with the slow defense, and uh, let's see. The game is going further. So I'm going with the natural way of developing the pieces. Uh, can I go here or shall I just go and capture first? Let's capture first. Mm, if I come out, uh, there might be chances of uh, pawn push further on the h6. And then I need to eventually come back like this, so which I don't want. Okay, let's let's develop with the same way. Uh, spot and pick. Okay. My next move is to just castle, and. Uh, but I'm waiting for his knight to come back, you know, uh, the idea is, you know, if I castled it, I'm delaying castle because uh, he will start pushing the uh, pawns further, so that I don't want. So, let me play the waiting move here. A3. Because I, I just don't want to. Okay, nice. Now I wanted to develop the bishop here, and the idea is you know, if push further, I'll come back and then push on further. Can I just come back here? But it is a three times uh, defended this square. Can simply push one further captures, and there will be only two times defense. But he may get the isolated pawn. So the idea of rook a to c one is uh, simply you know uh, when there is a opponent's queen in that particular uh, line, you should have. So this is what I thought. Can I just come here? Now I'm waiting for castling because uh, see he's also uh, he might be planning to castle. If if he plans to castle, I'll simply push the uh, queen further, and uh, I am not going to castle now. I am simply uh, you know attacking the uh, pawn on uh, h uh, h six where he has to come here with the queen, uh, king. Otherwise, I'll start push pawn further if it's come like this way. I'll start pushing the pawn further. I'm playing. I'm taking a risk here, guys. So uh, let's let's go with the risk this time. So 
so i'm keeping my king uh, in the center so this is a big risk while uh, keeping your king in the center but the idea is to just uh, you know give some pressure uh, towards the can i play can i just go here like this Mm, nice one. Nice idea. I cannot grab this because of uh, pin. Okay, let's castle and save the king. This is going to be the very interesting game at the moment guys uh, do like share subscribe i have received some feedbacks that i uh, i'm getting win in every game that is not uh, the case uh, just to tell you guys it's it's been a uh, uh, efforts that i'm trying to uh, get all the guests uh, on the channel uh, where uh, i can uh, you know uh, give you some good content and good material so that is the whole idea guys. This can be captured at the moment. Uh, it's having uh, three times attack, and it's it is not having a single support. But I am okay with it now. Yeah, I thought for that uh, this move. Can I push once further? Let's. let's go with the pawn push further ah okay guys uh, there is an attack coming and there is a fork coming so i need to be look for it and i need to be uh, give the space to my piece otherwise this will be the losing okay i'm anyway i'm losing on time as well so th this is most likely chances of coming okay i'm going to sack now this is a problem now yeah i thought of that mm. this was a mistake but let's see i did not spotted this i, I spotted this but i forgot to just push you know uh, the piece uh, towards the other end and anyway it was the fork coming because uh, i can't uh, move that piece as well uh, it was like the to be the attack coming okay let's go I'm, I'm very much low on time so let's go further Okay. okay, I'm very much low on time. So it's a four second left. So so it's a two pieces uh, oh okay i did miss to capture here uh, this was like now uh, almost uh, going to be the dangerous game let's see he's a rook up and uh, he lost the rook here let's 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 see how what is going to happen now so it's it's a very much low on time guys uh, so
now it's a double attack coming and i am capturing here again so uh i am very much hard beating here guys i am not getting any idea here so it's a timeless game and oh uh let me uh, check yeah so sure. it was you know very hard beating to me it was like uh, in the end uh, i did lot of things uh, uh, i think i missed that fork as well and in the end uh, there were some mistakes you can see there are four blunders for me oh no <laughs> it's it's Just really hard beating to me in the end it was a very low on time that was, that was a terrible end game that was brutal <laughs> yeah yeah in the in the few seconds the game has turned into it was a winning for you uh, let let's have a quickly analysis of the game and let's see yeah, that, was a, that was a tricky position in the middle of it is completely fell apart at the yeah, end yeah you, you were you were completely winning uh, you know let's 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 see how the game has begun and uh, let me see the analysis board as well so uh, I think until uh, okay here you know uh, I was just waiting for your move you know many times it happens with me that you know if if I uh, if I develop my bishop and castles you will start immediately pushing the uh, pawns further and there will be the deadly attack coming towards the king so uh, I was just waiting for uh, you to castle first you know so here uh, uh, I think until this. Uh, here what was your idea to come on uh, queen on c7 i wanted to know your plan um it was just mainly to uh, release the pin on the knight and maybe put more pressure on the uh okay square i thought you know a... you are going to push the pawn further and then i need to come back uh, on the h6 when you push the h6 yeah, that was definitely a plan of mine as well yeah, yeah here, here, here you know the engine also suggesting the h6 is the best move rather than coming the queen on the c7 so okay here also it was suggesting me to go for the h4 and start attack tiers but i don't want you know to start expanding uh, from the king side immediately before your castling so yeah. here you played uh, h6 uh, that time and I, I did come back here also you know here i spotted this move uh, on uh, f4 the idea is uh, to just attack towards you but i thought if you push further if i captures you have multiple options like you can capture here and unpin from this bus this is uh this is the blunder computer showing uh, engine showing so you need to capture with this this is also showing a blunder let me see why it's it's showing directly seven plus uh, yeah because i think white has more uh pieces attacking it right after an exchange white's just winning so mm, yeah because yeah, that may be i think it, it's getting pin here because your queen has to move somewhere else and i can jump in here oh yeah oh i i missed that okay yeah that would have been that would have been bad yeah i missed that uh, yeah. actually i planned for that but i said no no i i need to play the passive move so yeah that was a move i didn't anticipate if you'd played that i probably would have gone yeah. queen b6 or something just trying to put more pressure on the b2 pawn and yes, move to queen correct. Correct. Main, so, uh, yeah, when did Queen. when you just castled? Uh, I thought you know just to start pushing the pawns further and give some attack. Before that, okay, this is the inaccurate move it's showing. Go on the f4. Oh, it is it is showing me to go back again uh, to the f4 rather than uh, coming with the queen. So okay, let's let's see the further. So yeah, I I spotted this move. You know, uh, either you you can come here or uh, jump in knight here with the support on uh, to the h6 pawn. So yeah, that, that would have been a cleaner move, yeah. Yeah. So then uh, it was like, uh, oh, uh, I don't understand this move. Why you played the uh, uh, e five? It was just to try control the center space a bit more. It was probably a mm -hmm. poor move, but you know, uh, at at the moment, I think I captured. One, I have captured that, but. Uh, then uh, there might chances of you know just capturing here it is showing the best move but i have just you know one fear uh but uh, you can come here but it's attack to your queen that means you will capture here or you will come uh here like this uh, then i can simply capture here and then you will capture me and all those stuff uh, will happen uh, 
I was just wondering, you know, means to, uh, don't get to the pins uh, in front of your queen. So I was just waiting for that and I did castle here. And here you captured, captured. And here I have spotted your move, you know. Here uh, I know that I'm, I'm, I'm getting the pin here. And if I move the bishop to the uh, f4 as well, you are going to push me. And uh, then uh, I need to move back. So this was the best move for me to, you know, push the bishop uh, onto the f4 but i missed that move uh, sorry Josh. so i missed that move and uh, i i came here and it was a losing position for me because i am losing one piece here i had decided to give you the bishop uh, the knight uh, on the c3 then you have the bishop. yeah yeah later on uh, i was just trying to you know put some pressure and here also i have seen that you have uh, given me the pawn to you know attack my queen so i said let's come back and uh, here uh, here i don't uh, have you not captured means uh, calculated that my rook can jump in here and you will be the pin yeah i did i did i mean I, how much time did I, I had 16 seconds so i uh uh -huh. figured, you can I, see you, you can see i have seconds, four seconds that time it was a very low yeah, for me main, main so, idea with, with that was just to make you kind of almost panic a little bit try yes. uh, Correct, correct. In the time pressure, uh, I am. I means I used to do a lot of blunders in the time pressure. And here, yeah. uh, you here. I I think uh, the best move is to come back here. I think it's showing you to capture here. <laughs> it, it, uh, I completely missed that man. That was, that was a free piece. Yeah, I think you you did uh, pressurize with this uh, bishop uh, when when I uh, put my rook onto the b1. So that may be the pressure for you and uh, here also it's it's asking me to come back and uh, win this piece and I said let's let's go. Here also you did not capture it, I captured and this is a miss you know. When you captured me back I should have captured your rook first. Uh, yeah. But I said let's let's capture the uh, piece here first and uh, then it will be completely messed up for both of us that what you are going, what we are doing, what we are doing and uh, <laughs> suddenly okay here uh, i can see there is a miss what is the best move rook to d2 okay it, it uh, for you uh, it's it's miss it's it's a rook to d2 is the best okay let's yeah. see and uh, here you are given me some chance you know to win your piece and uh, i think you forgot your rook is also uh, attacked and uh, yeah, that, that i good. i got chance good. here now uh, it's like now uh, here at this moment i was thought you know uh, now uh, it's like a rook down situation means exchange down situation but uh, we can at least try for something and uh, here i tried i uh, I, I got uh, your rook and then uh, it's it's like you are you are playing shuffle in your pieces and uh, i was just trying to play the uh, moves uh, and here also you did not uh, thought for this. Uh, I think I know you. I uh, th think you missed in the uh, time pressure. But this uh, this was eyeing on your uh, rook, and I was just you know uh, trying to uh, attack and win that rook as well. And uh, you captured here my uh, bishop here, and I said let's capture the rook. And in the end, uh, it's it's like uh, uh, it's 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 the rook up situation. So, uh, Scott, what you wanna say means uh, I, I definitely, you know, it's my pleasure that you came on my channel and uh, played a match with me. Uh, it's it's very nice. Uh, we can play one more game. I'll stop the recording and we can play one more if you are uh, okay. Yeah, sure. I, I, I wouldn't mind that. Okay, so let's let's. No, that, that, was a, that was a good game. I think the. The middle game is a very interesting position, but the yes, end game correct. is... End game is broken. just terrible for both of us. We just shuffled the pieces and in the end, it was like a time pressure and it did happen. So let's let's have one more game. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you, Scott, for joining us. Uh, do like, share, subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.